You've tuned in to 92.3 WLOL. This is Foxy Friends in the Morning here to catch you up on the American news you missed or you're actually doing something productive here on this side of the pond. But before we get started, here's Will with the NASDAQ report. Hello Charms, this is William Bell with the NASDAQ report. And while the market may be bad, I still slept like a baby last night. I woke up just about every hour and cried. In today's report, helium was up, brothers were down, paper was stationary. Fluorescent tubing was deemed in light trading. Knives were up sharply. Cows steered into a bull market. Pencils lost a few points. Hiking equipment was trailing. Elevators rose, while escalators continued their slow decline. Weights were up in heavy trading. Light switches were off. Mining equipment hit rock bottom. Vipers remained unchanged. Shipping lines stayed at an even keel. The market for raisins dried up. Coca-Cola fizzled. Caterpillar stock inched up a bit. Sun peaked at midday, balloon prices were inflated, and Scott Tissue touched a new bottom, and batteries exploded in an attempt to recharge the market. That's your NASDAQ, and remember as always, a long-term investment is just a short-term investment failed. And now for emergency cancellations. The following schools, businesses, or events have been cancelled due to inclement weather, impassable roads, or giant octopi infestations. Bellfront Academy will have a two-hour delay and resume regular classes at 9.30am. Caller Heating and Electric has lost electricity and heating and will be closed for the day. The Derby Charter vs. North Yorkshire High School game is postponed until yesterday due to wet conditions. The ski contest in Plymouth County is cancelled due to snow, with a later time to be determined. Warrington Prep will have an early dismissal at high noon. This concludes today's list of emergency cancellations. We'll be right back after this long, boring commercial break. Welcome to the British Airways Diner, where the only way for us to make your taste buds fly is to follow the same four words stitched onto every uniform of every waiter who takes your order. To fry, to serve, British Airways. And now for something completely different. We are actually going to allow a blabbering Frenchman to inform us on the news across the channel. How's the parliamentary election going, Pivier Gjant? In and all home at the village here to suffer major loo, in a partial loosen cause I all my shit say by a do. I'm sorry, Miss Shaw, I can't understand what you're blabbering about. Did you understand any of that, Will? Huh? I understand what? I was just ignoring him. What did that French fool say? That's just the thing, Will. I don't understand a single word he said. He seems to be uttering in some sort of monkey language. Oh, Charles, I think you've mistaken his French for a monkey language. That's just the way they speak there. Oh, what noobs! Oh, I mean, the way that, that they think that we understand, they think we language. know what they're oh, actually talking about. They just talk gibberish. Uh, okay, well, that's all we need from you, monsieur. Merci. Oui, oui. Our head story this morning is an infestation in Warrington County. Citizens awoke to a giant octopus blocking roadways in the center of Vesco. Here's Clive Miller on location in Warrington. What's it look like there, Clive? Well, Charles, it doesn't look good, I'll tell you that. The complexion of the octopus is a bit rough. His paws are rather large. I would recommend Neutrogena. <laughs> no, Clive. I mean, how's the damage look? Not the actual octopus. Oh, sorry about that, Charles. Well, I assure you, the damage doesn't look good either. The local charter school, Warrington Prep, was going to have an early dismissal, but the school is now on lockdown because of the slimy pursuit of art. Local restaurants aren't bidding on the giant octopus to make the best calamari. Six people have been already killed and will unfortunately not be enjoying the quality of sleep. The worst part is that. Clive? Clive? Is everything alright, Clive? I know you're mad at me for giving the Chelsea tickets to Will instead of you, but that's no reason to give me the silent treatment. Well, while Clive is solving his own life issues, we'll go to Will with American Sports.
The big game this weekend in American football across the pond was the 0-15 Miami Dolphins versus the 1-14 Cleveland Browns. These two teams will join the elites in the National Football League playoffs. And I assure that this year in the playoffs, both these teams will be moving the ball, direction to be determined, but I bet on backwards. I guarantee that at the end of the football season, the only way to gain yardage is to run the game film backwards. Thank you for our sports break, William. And now for another 15 seconds of your life to be wasted, as if we weren't doing that already. A message from the British Biscuit Advisory Board. Last year, there were 514 biscuit-related incidents, and we think that is 515 too many, which is why we haven't stated a £1 million investment into safe snacking. After all, biscuits are fun, but responsible biscuits are just as tasty. And remember, this healthy treat equals bon appetit. We seem to have a bit of difficulty with transmissions. What else can you expect? The tower built by the French.